Today, we test the Ford S-Max. It was first produced in 2006 and has since undergone several improvements. With it, the manufacturer is targeting young people who want lots of cargo space but also sporty handling characteristics. We wanted to find out whether the S-Max lives up to that goal of combining space with sporty dynamics. The Ford S-Max we tested has an automatic start-stop mechanism to save fuel. As soon as the car stops and is shifted to neutral, the motor shuts off. When the driver shifts again, the motor starts and off the car goes. High quality materials are used in the interior and the dashboard is well arranged. The electronic positioner for the seats works well, making them easy to adjust. And the seats are comfortable, even on longer drives. The gleaming black chrome-framed front is an eye-catcher that underscores the car's sportiness. Overall, the car has a powerful feel to it. The windows are also framed in chrome. The rear-view camera is under the logo script. The trunk provides lots of space, as you'd expect in a van, enough for two heavy-duty shelves. Still unassembled in their packages, they would also fit in a compact. But assembled, these shelves are 1.9 metres long and 80 centimetres wide. No compact could accommodate them. But they're no problem for the Ford S-Max. The back seats are easily folded down, increasing the storage space from 1,071 litres with five seats to a whopping 2,100 litres with two seats and the cargo area is flat with a low trunk sill. The wide trunk opening makes it easy to load even bulky objects. In the S-Max we tested, the small 1.6-litre gasoline engine performed well. 118 kilowatts accelerate the van from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 9.8 seconds. Top speed is 204 kilometers an hour. The Ford S Max is available in three equipment versions. The basic model goes for 29,300 euros in Germany. Standard equipment includes an electronically adjustable driver's seat, automatic climate control and ESP with anti-slip regulation. But the van is not only practical, it's also fun to drive. Its handling is quite sporty, while shock absorption is pleasantly soft. So in our opinion, the Ford S-Max definitely lives up to its promise, combining variable storage space, comfort and sportiness.